It seems extraordinary that a memorial service to Baroness Boythroyd and Betty Boythroyd uh, should be taking place um, on Tuesday at a time when the uh, Parliament, when the House of Commons is actually sitting. And it seems even more extraordinary that Rishi Sunak has um, not agreed to calls from MPs or has ignored calls from MPs across Parliament to start the parliamentary proceedings an hour later. Um, it, it, it is extraordinary that somebody who was such a significant uh, character, a widely respected speaker in the House of Commons, should be so snubbed by somebody who is such a jumped-up nobody, really. Um, and it may be an oversight. It may be that he's been too busy uh, in Ukraine, for which, of course, you know, grateful thanks. I think he's doing a good job going to Ukraine, and I I wish more members of the um, of the Western powers were doing the same thing at the moment. Uh, the last hundred days have eclipsed what has been um, uh, the, the importance of Ukraine, and indeed the. Uh, the situation in Yemen is eclipsing what's important in Ukraine. And there are people who claim that the finger of Mr. Putin is behind both events, both the uh, Hooters uh, shelling and the uh, Gaza uprising, the Hamas uh, terrorist attack. It's impossible to, to, to say that's the case, but speculation uh, is there and people with conspiracy theories who want to see a tidy solution to um, events will undoubtedly put forward these ideas. I, I certainly think these things have been convenient to Putin and it's important that we think beyond the immediate problems and think uh, globally about the important issues. The important issue, I'm afraid, has to be helping... Um, Mr. Zelensky, as, as, one, as long as he wants that help, that is our job. And uh, the Israeli situation is significantly different because of Israel's decision to go it alone and to conduct its own aggressive ground offensive, um, which I think is wrong. It's led to a, 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 an enormous amount of displacement and death. Uh, which has to be condemned. Um, Labour MPs and Conservative MPs and Liberal Democrat MPs, SMP, uh, the, the whole House should be there to support the former Speaker. And she had a profound impact on the development of the, of the way the House functions. Uh, she was not simply significant for Labour members. She was the first and uh, only female speaker, uh, and therefore I think it's disrespectful to Parliament as an institution not to, um, not, not to make time for her memorial service, uh, not, not to have scheduled her more, uh, memorial service at a time when more MPs would be automatically available. Uh, I think it was... I think it's a mistake on many levels. I think Penny Mordaunt, who apparently declined the option, and Simon Hart, the chief whip, uh, who also apparently declined, um, both of them are wrong. Uh, and although Penny Mordaunt has said, back, back in December, she said that Betty Boothroyd was uh, gave, gave us confidence and pride in this place, and that was no accident. She wanted to give all a chance because she cherished every chance that she'd been given. For me, that care was evident in a particular letter she wrote to me after I proposed the loyal address in 2014, and I was so grateful for it. She concluded that she wanted me to flourish, not just to be successful or to do well or to get on, but to flourish, to excel, to be all I could be. Uh, to have a ruddy good time doing it and to understand what my purpose was. She knew her purpose. I served to, I speak to serve, she said, and she served us well. May she rest in peace. May these tributes to her remind us all 
of the responsibility and the opportunity it is to it is our privilege to have thank you betty uh, Mr. Sunak at the time also called her a remarkable woman who dedicated her life to politics. Um, but I think it is incumbent on senior politicians to be present at such an important memorial service and it is to, um, to their discredit that this is scheduled so badly and that, the, um, uh, and, and that space hasn't been made in the parliamentary programme to ensure that senior ministers, senior MPs can attend the service without um, snubbing their ministerial and parliamentary duties.